In this video, we are going to work through some examples where we need to use perpendicular lines. Please pause the video here and try these examples on your own. Number one, determine the equation of the straight line passing through the point T2 and 2 and perpendicular to the line given by 3y plus 2x minus 6 is equal to 0. Okay, so again, we have got a given equation and we are looking to find the equation of a new graph. The relationship between the two graphs is that they are perpendicular and the relationship between the gradients of perpendicular graphs is that they have a product of negative 1. Okay, so the other thing we know about the new graph is that it passes through the point of 2 and 2. What we know about the given equation is that it is 3y plus 2x minus 6 is equal to 0. The moment we want to know something about the gradient of a graph, because we know that they've told us the lines are perpendicular, we're going to be needing to work with gradient, we need to get the equation into standard form. So we subtract 2x and add 6 to both sides, and we then divide through by positive 3. So we get y is negative 2 thirds x plus 2. Now, if two gradients have a product of negative 1, that means that the, oh, sorry, this is negative 2 thirds. If the two gradients have a product of negative 1, it means that I need to multiply by a number that has the opposite sign of the one that I've got. So it's going to go up to be positive and it needs to be the reciprocal fraction. So the second gradient will be positive 3 over 2. So therefore, the new equation will be 3 over 2x plus c. In order to solve for c, we substitute in the coordinate 2 and 2. And that gives us c to be negative 1. So the final equation will be 3 over 2x minus 1. Okay, number 2. Determine the equation of the straight line passing through 2 and a third and is perpendicular to a line with an inclination beta is equal to 71,57. So we've been given some information about a graph and we need to find the equation of a new graph. What we know about them is they are perpendicular, so the product of the gradients is negative 1. And we also know that the new graph is going to pass through the point 2 and 1 third. Okay, the given graph has an angle of inclination beta is equal to 71,57 degrees. If I want to know what the gradient of that graph is, we know that the tan of the angle of inclination is equal to the gradient. So on our calculator, we work out the tan of 71,57 degrees, and it gives us a value of 3. Therefore, the new graph's gradient so m1 will be 3, the new graph's gradient needs to have the opposite sign and it needs to be the reciprocal fraction. The reciprocal of 3 over 1 is 1 over 3. So therefore, y will be equal to negative 1 over 3x plus c. We need to substitute in a third and 2 in order to solve for c, and we get the value of c to be positive 1. So therefore, our equation will be negative 1 third x plus 1. 